I'm a career project manager, basically. Um, I've been delivering projects, uh, IT projects in the financial services space for the best part of 15 years. Moved up from project management to professional services director to head of project management for my company for the region um, over the last couple of years, um, but still very heavily invested in the, in the project management within finance, uh, within fintech. So I'd got to the point in my career where I was looking to move up and I was coming up short, I felt. I felt my CV was put into the pile where there was a reason not to progress me. And I came to the conclusion that was because I don't have a benchmark qualification. I didn't have a degree. Um, I went straight out of uh, school into um, a practical environment. So the MBA was a chance to give me that benchmark qualification. And also having worked in the financial services space for most of my career, the specialization in finance just made sense. The specialties that I had within the finance sector were um, highly practical to, to what I do in terms of managing um, and working with the, the central banks, the big corporate treasuries. So that really did give me um, a solid grounding to speak on an equal footing with, with clients in that space but more so the generic um, elements of the MBA, stuff that I hadn't thought of, um, leadership, marketing, strategic HR. That was really interesting and gave me a much more, a much broader perspective on the business as a whole. And I think that significantly helped my, um, my career progression over the last few years. The course coordinators, um, I found very helpful and very useful to lean on. Um, so I made a point of attending as many of the, the weekly webinars as I could um, and you know, trying to be actively engaged because the more I found that you put in um, to, to that interaction, the, the, the more I got out. Obviously, one of the challenges with um, uh, an online MBA is that, that interaction with fellow students, um, the, the course coordinators, etc. So the opportunity to engage with them um, on through through those online portals and online mediums was incredibly useful. Absolutely, um, I've been at my I've been at my current company for nine years, um, and until I started the MBA, I'd remained as a senior project manager. During the MBA, I got promoted to a professional services director, and within. 12 months of completing my MBA, I became head of project management for the APAC region. I hadn't had that career progression before the MBA and the only thing that changed was the MBA. So absolutely attribute that to this qualification. I would have done the MBA itself uh, a bit earlier in my career, I think. I could have feasibly done it five years ago and I think I would have still gotten the same benefit. And um, I'm kicking myself that I delayed to some extent, um, but in terms of the experience that I had with AIB through the two and a half years, I wouldn't change it.